Now coming to the transitory structures of enamel organ. The transitory, the word means something which is not permanent. So these are the temporary structures and they will disappear before the enamel formation begins. Okay. So now we have seen to the cap stage. We have the dental lamina, we have the enamel, enamel organ, dental papilla, etc. Okay. Now we will see each structure. The first one is the enamel knot. So coming to enamel knot. Enamel knot is a cluster of non-dividing ectodermal cells. These are cluster of cells, okay, group of cells which will not divide and they are ectodermal. And this is seen in the area of enamel organ in the area of cellular reticulum. We will see it in the area of cellular reticulum and they also partly project into dental papillum. Okay? And these cells have a main function which I will say later. Now enamel cord. When these cluster of cells okay, extend in a vertical manner, they extend in a vertical manner, then it is called enamel cord. In a vertical extension when it goes towards the outer enamel epithelium, either like this or like this, towards the outer enamel epithelium when it extends, it is called enamel cord. If these densely packed cells or if this cells reach the enamel, uh, reach the, oh sorry, reach the outer enamel epithelium, then it is called enamel septum. Okay. So, enamel knot is a cluster of cells we see. When it extends towards the outer enamel epithelium, it is enamel cord and when it reaches the outer enamel epithelium, it is enamel septum. So, now why is it called septum? Septum means something which is being divided. Okay. So, you can see when these cells reach the outer enamel epithelium, we can see the enamel organ is being divided into two. Right? It is dividing the enamel organ into two sides. Thus, it is called as enamel septum. Now, enamel knot, enamel cord and enamel septum. These three are transitory structures and why they, how these three are formed are to these are rapid proliferation of the cells in enamel organ. As these enamel organ cells rapidly proliferate, we will uh, see the formation of enamel knot, enamel cord and enamel septum. But these three have a very main function that is they act as reservoir. They act as reservoir of cells. Okay. They act as reservoir of cells and they will uh, contribute cells to the growing enamel organ when needed. Now enamel knot also has two other functions. Okay, These two, uh, two functions are only for enamel knot. One is it, it acts as a signaling molecule. Okay, it acts as a signaling molecule and plays a main role in signaling. Now, other main function is it will determine the shape of the tooth. It will determine the shape of the tooth. Um, the, it will also uh, it will determine the shape of the tooth and the pattern of the crust. So these knot has main other two functions other than the reservoir of acting as a reservoir of cells. So enamel knot, enamel cord when it is an extension towards the outer enamel epithelium and enamel septum when it reaches the outer enamel epithelium. Now enamel navel. Okay, enamel navel navel is a small invagination. We have a invagination in the area where enamel cord joins outer enamel epithelium. When the, when the enamel cord joins outer enamel epithelium, there is a small invagination that is called as enamel navel. Navel, thus meaning umbilicus. Okay. So, the invagination 
where it's similar to the amplitude. So it's called as enamel neighbor. Now, enamel Nikkei. Nikkei is a, uh, this is a histological finding. This is only seen in histological sections of cap and early bell stitch. Okay. Now we know enamel organ is attached to the oral ectoderm by the dental lamina. Okay. But when we see histologically, it seems like it is attached by like you know there is a uh, sorry we have two dental lamina it's not one dental lamina it's two dental lamina it seems like there is two dental lamina for the attaching enamel organ but why uh, it is seen as two and dental lamina is due to the irregular it is due to the irregular depressions of dental lamina it is due to the irregular depressions of dental lamina when you see in a histological section it seems as two dental lamina it is like two dental lamina okay and in the space it is very freely filled with ectomes ectomesenchymal tissues ectomesenchymal that is about enamel nikke and these are the transitory structures now going next we will see bell stage thank you